All right, so this is a front disc brake kit for a 1956 Cadillac. And this is pretty, pretty uh, straightforward. So I, on the other hand, am mirroring this. So as you can see, this is the orientation that I'm putting it in. The directions actually say to flip it the other way, but I'm going to be putting it this way. That way I actually have enough distance for the brake hose to get back up to the uh, bracket holder on the frame right here. So the tools you're going to need, you're going to need a set of three quarter inches, you're going to need a half inch, you're going to need 11 sixteenths, five eighths, you'll need a set of pliers, you'll need uh, the Allen wrench that's provided, however you are going to need to file it down a little extra. Uh, it doesn't fit as it is in either direction, so you're going to have to file it down a little bit. Um, a three quarter inch socket if you're going to use power tools. And you're going to need cotter pins, you're going to need a small uh, dead blow hammer to put the bearing seal in. You're going to need wheel bearing grease for the wheel bearings. And I think that's it, but uh, I might have missed something here and there, but you'll be able to see what I'm going to be using. So, And like I said, the plate bracket, the directions say to have this over here in this direction, toward, pointing towards the front. Uh, you can have the calipers in either direction so long as the bleeder is pointing in the up direction. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Like I said, uh, it doesn't, the brake hose doesn't fit for me that's provided if the caliper is up in the front versus on the back side. Um, so for here, you're going to have your 5 eighths on the front and the back. Or excuse me, you have your 5 eighths on the fronts and you're going to have the 11 sixteenths on the back here. Down on the bottom, you're going to have 5 eighths on the front and the back. This is 3 quarter inch on the front and the back. So I'm going to get those bolted in. I also added lock washers to all of these just because it's a disc brake component and I would never want it to find its way loose. So I just decided to put lock washers that fit in every position. Okay, so that one is good. Five eights. Okay, now the bottom two do have holes for cotter pins. Now this one is a little bit short, so I forgot. I'm actually going to put a couple washers just to give it some space so the castle nut actually will hold in place where the cotter pin hole is. So I'll just edit that back out and put that in. Um, but I bought a box of assorted king, excuse me, cotter pins. And they actually work pretty well for this, so that's what I'm going to do.